Let's talk about your lovely daughter. Uh, it, it, Christmas time coming up. Is she all excited about Santa Claus? Yeah, she's into it. Yeah. She's very excited. That's cool. Not like kids would be, you know, very ecstatic. You're sure. going to get free stuff that we can't say they've earned, but we do it. <laughs> Why do we do it? We just keep doing it. We get to the 25th and we go, you know, you are all right, but here's some stuff. Here's some stuff. We don't even get credit for it. Well, wait. We yeah. give credit. We. I don't know if she's gonna, I don't want her to hear this. We, we go work to make that money to, and go, then we go to the stores at the worst time of year to go to the store, buy it, wrap it, stay up late, put it together, and then we don't even take the credit. We give, we are like, hey, this, this creepy dude, <laughs> this white bearded <laughs> dude in a red, very, very weird outfit, he, he got you this stuff. Not us, we were asleep. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care. It's not right. No. It's so you have right. a lot of resentment about Santa. I would like to tell her, she, my daughter is four. Mm -hmm. I would love to tell her the truth. I don't want to make her that kid at school who go, who's like, hey, I know what Santa's not real. And then the other kids are crying and now my kid's a shithead. Yeah. <laughs> And then the parents are like, hey, thanks for ruining Christmas, when really you want to be like, you're welcome. Now you get credit for those presents. <laughs> do you oh, have, look at what's in my Do you have stocking. any friends? Do you have any? <laughs> You're friendly, yeah. I'm just, although I'm just a nervous wreck right now because your daughter's in the green room. Yeah. yeah. Is she hearing this? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't leave, I didn't leave her with anyone. I didn't leave she her doesn't with anyone. She, she doesn't have any there. supervision or anything. She's like. back there drinking beer and <laughs> hanging out. <laughs> doing, doing some of those Christmas lines, hanging out with <laughs> All right, all right. <laughs> what kind of dad are you? Are you a I tough dad? What, what I, I think I'm pretty cool, what yeah. I just said. <laughs> My daughter's back there drinking beer. Like, this is a cool dad. Yeah. <laughs> when she's 20 and it's like, you know, if you, I, I, here's the thing. Whether she believes in him or not, that I, I, I don't know when to tell her the truth, but I, I would say I'm getting very close to it. <laughs> She's four and a yeah, half. What's the, why She's is it four such a and a half? Why, why not? Here's what's so weird. When you finally tell your kid, hey, by the way, that, we made all that up, why would any human being then go, oh, okay, I'll look past that? for the rest of our lives. Oh, you're people go, You know when your kid's a teenager? Yeah. People go, ah, when they're teenagers, watch out. You wanna know why they're like that? Because probably four years ago, you told them the one thing they thought was a certainty was an absolute lie. <laughs> <laughs> and then when they become teenagers, you know, like, they're like, you know, I'm gonna <laughs> you up. Can we say that? Can no, say yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, you can say the F word, but yeah, the yeah. point is it's, uh, I don't think, <laughs> I don't think that's right. I don't think that's the reason why teenagers have trouble when they're 16 years old is because of the Santa Claus myth. Yeah, it's Santa Claus, it's the Easter Bunny, it's the Tooth Fairy. Why, who decided any of this? <laughs> who was like, let's all live a lie for no reason? I'm, I, I think you have no point at all, actually. Yeah, yeah. I think, I, I disagree, yeah. I think you're coming around. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> uh, I wanna go on, I wanna see you on this tour, I really do. Why don't you come and do our shows in Phoenix, right, everyone? Yeah. <laughs> I'll do it. You could literally recommend anything and a crowd will go, yeah, he should go to Phoenix. Yeah. <laughs> Not one person, yeah, Phoenix is fine. Yeah. yeah, he should go do it. Yeah, shouldn't Conan have his lower jaw completely removed? <laughs> yeah! yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> For tickets to Rory's upcoming stand-up tour, go to nottoolband.com. <laughs> and his podcast, Pen Pals with Daniel and Rory, is available wherever you get your uh, podcasts. And uh, man, uh, uh, there's, I don't know, who's funnier than Rory Scoble? You're hilarious. Rory Thank Scoble, you. ladies and gentlemen.